I don't think that mental health was discussed that much when I was at school. Definitely wasn't with, with my family. It, it was something that it just was never spoken about. We'd be able to talk about if we were upset or anything like that, but it was never openly discussed as being something to do with mental health in the same way that physical health was maybe spoken about. There's definitely been times throughout my career playing rugby when I've struggled with my mental health. In 2016, I was in the squad to go to the Olympics and I knew that only 12 would go and that was always a risk that obviously as an athlete you have to take. And in the lead up to it, a couple of months out from the Olympics, uh, my mum passed away and I was injured at the same time. And I think that was a really big down point for me. Um, I had loads of support, all the girls were amazing, but at the same time, I then also didn't get to go to the Olympics. So there was like a double kick in the teeth of struggling with going through everything with my family, but also my sport. So the two things that kind of make me me, um, you know, things that things were, were pretty low at that point. You kind of think actually life's too short and also it's not just about sport there's so much more um so if things weren't going right with sport there's always going to be something else in in your life that you can kind of turn to so it did kind of make me look at things in a different way in a different light and i think that my ability to cope with when things haven't always gone right in my sport since then i've actually become a lot stronger so although bad things happen there's always something you can take from it to make you grow as a person the biggest thing for me when I was going through everything with my mum is I didn't want people to treat me differently to how they'd treated me previously. The way that the girls have banter with you and everything like that, I just wanted that to continue so that everything in my life seemed to be a constant other than the fact that my mum was no longer there. Um, I wanted everything else to stay the same. I didn't want people to treat me any differently. I didn't want people to tread on eggshells around me. And actually, they didn't. They really just... I was training, you know, the following week and all that kind of stuff. I just wanted everything to go back to as normal as possible so I could carry on. Like, my mum wouldn't have wanted me to just mope around and, and not do the sport that I loved. And I, I was really lucky to have the support of the coaches and the girls at that time. Like, they really helped me through that, that tough time. The biggest advice that I would give to people that are going through, whether that's loss of a family member, injury, you know, feeling like things aren't going their way in their career or, or in their sport or whatever it is. I think before it becomes a big thing, speak out about it, get the support. And although it might feel uncomfortable talking about it, you might not want people to see you in a vulnerable position. Actually talking about it makes things so much easier and there'll always be people that are willing to help you. So, yeah, I think that reaching out before it becomes something bigger is the, the biggest part of that. When you're unable to compete or perform in the way that you know that you can, and, and it feels like part of your identity is not there anymore, you kind of have to learn for yourself what it is that makes you able to carry on, to keep pushing through, to stay motivated. And for me, especially with a longer um, longer injury. The biggest thing for me was to set myself smaller goals and to take myself away from what was actually going on in the rugby environment. Stay in my lane, forget about what other people are doing, how well they're doing, what I'm missing out on. Concentrate on getting myself back to being as strong as possible and, and getting myself ready to go and perform again. Whether it's a little niggle that you get um, as an athlete these things happen, you, you get injured, and it's about learning what works for you and what makes you tick in that time when you might otherwise struggle. Okay. We all see physical illnesses and someone goes to the physio as soon as they've got a little niggle and it gets sorted before it becomes a big thing. But with mental health, I think that it's something that we kind of put on a back burner and try and avoid a little bit. There's so many initiatives now, you know, that are talking about mental health and how we should support one another and to if we're struggling with anything to put it out there 
um, straight away get the support that we need before it becomes a bigger issue. I saw if I was struggling a little bit or feeling down about something as a weakness rather than just knowing that that's absolutely normal to feel that way. You know, you get a small injury, you go and see a physio straight away, but we don't really think about speaking about if we're having those low days and it's not just one low day, it's when one low day becomes a week or a month and actually you get yourself into a bad cycle of, of like suffering and, and you can't find a way out. Actually, if we all understand like how important it really is to notice those signs early on, we can get that help and, and it won't become a big thing. There's, there's too many people we, we're seeing now like with suicides, especially with the pandemic and everything. And if friends and family would have known that that person was suffering, they would have done everything in their power to be able to help them. And I think too many of us don't speak out about when we are suffering. If it was just as easy as it is to go and, and see a physio, to go and see like a psychologist or something like that, then more people would do it. But I think there's been that stigma around it that you're weak if you're having to go and see someone about your mental health. So it's definitely something that I think that we should continue to keep talking about, keep helping each other with, and hopefully it won't turn into something worse. We are stronger together. We are my protein.